Why? Why? You trade Trey Mancini to the Houston Astros. Why? Trey Mancini to the Houston Astros. Why? Why? Uh, I'm always going to say why. This makes no sense. This makes, makes no sense. Here's why. Trey Mancini, this dude, has been a huge mentor to the Baltimore Orioles. He's been the face of the franchise for, for a while. He has motivated young players, even though when Adley Rutschman came to Baltimore on May 21st, 2022, the team was awesome under Adley Rutschman. This is why your team is at number one according to the MLB pipeline. You got players, Gunnar Henderson, this dude, he, he's coming to Baltimore very, very soon. D.L. Hall is coming. He's on his way. Grayson Rodriguez, number one pitcher in baseball. Top three in the Orioles organization as far as prospect goes. Number two on the Orioles. He was number three. Number three for Grayson Rodriguez. Number three in MLB as far as prospect goes. And now you're telling me Trey Mancini dealt to the Houston Astros. The Orioles were on a 11 game win streak when Mancini was playing. This dude was not hurt. He expected a rebuild. In 2017, he expected a rebuild from the beginning. Adam Jones was on his way out. This dude was getting old. He was not the player that he was when he grabbed gold gloves. Jones was not the player that he was in 2016 when he was getting gold gloves. Something was up for Manny Machado. We traded him to LA for prospects. And do you know how this panned out? Brian Bannon only played a few games last year. And the prospects did not even touch MLB level with the Orioles as far as I know. And now you're telling me Trey Mancini going to Houston. Who do you guys have? You have Yuli Gurriel. Is Yuli Gurriel on this team? Yuri Gurriel. He, he's, he's with the Astros. Okay, Yuli Gurriel is with the Astros. So now you're telling me Trey Mancini is going to be either an outfield or a designated hitter. This makes no sense to the Astros. And let me tell you, the Astros are going to be better with Trey Mancini. Okay, good job getting the first overall pick. You, you got Jackson Holiday. I'll, I'll give you credit to it. But again, there's no way you pick Trey... You want to trade Trey Mancini to Houston. You keep Trey Mancini. You keep Trey Mancini for a reason. No source or news that Trey Mancini has requested a trade. He knew the rebuild was coming. He did not like hesitate or he did not get pissed for losing. He knew the rebuild was coming. Do you want to know a good example of a rebuild? Jack Eichel. Jack Eichel was pissed because he was losing in Buffalo. He was the face of the franchise for the Buffalo Sabres. He was requested a trade for three years. And he got the trade to the Vegas Golden Knights for Peyton Krebs and Alex Tuck. And you're telling me that Trey we see out of nowhere, even though we saw the rumors, we, we knew it was fake. We knew it would not happen. Because the Baltimore's, they were in the playoff picture like, for five games during the win streak. And for all O's fans, you can agree to me. I'm upset. 
The trade should not even happen. But on a good note, Trey Mancini, you are you're one of my favorite players with the Baltimore Orioles. I'm very sad to see you go. We, we love you in Baltimore. That inside the park home run was, was very amazing. Even though I did not um, went, went to that game, but, but I definitely watched it on TV. Um, even though we're turning from cancer, play at the home run derby, I watched it. What an amazing performance. You made it to the finals. You, you faced Pete Alonso. You put the efforts going. Both of them had the efforts trying to, to win the home run derby champ. That is absolutely well deserved. And I'm, and I'm sad to see Trey Mancini go. Because, listen, Trey, Trey Mancini, he's basically like Ryan Zimmerman of the Baltimore Orioles as far as leadership presence go. And, and we've seen it when Adley Rutschman hit his first career home run. Trey Mancini gave the chain to Adley Rutschman. Yeah. Yeah, Baltimore is going to love Trey Mancini. Hopefully he comes back from free agency. Uh, I think uh, he has a year left on his contract. Hopefully he comes back. Um, because I feel like the trade should not even happen. Um, but it, it sucks. It sucks. But uh, I'm always going to love Trey Mancini as an O's fan. Um, yeah, he, he definitely had a great career with Baltimore and, and seems, and whoever met Trey Mancini either during, during a game from like autographs or just date some during Fan Fest. Orioles, please bring back Fan Fest. Please and thank you. Yeah, uh, I, I had the opportunity to meet Trey Mancini twice at Fan Fest and it, it was awesome, so... So yeah, that's gonna be it. Hopefully you guys love my rant. And uh, if you guys enjoy it, please hit the like button. I greatly appreciate the loss to me and that's gonna make me enjoy more viewers in your future. Do you guys want more vlogs inside the summer life with Alex Sasso? We have a month left, time flies. Um, some tear making videos, some reaction videos or, or anything like this. Please hit, this, hit the subscribe button, turn on post notifications for more future content. Thank you guys so much for watching. And instead of saying, have a great night. Thanks for watching. Thank you for everything you do, Trey. We're going to miss you in Baltimore.